So the northern part of Chile, all of Chile really, um, it's in the ring of fire and so there's a lot of um, earthquakes. It's funny because we call earthquakes anything where the, the earth quakes, um, but in Chile they have, or in Spanish, they have a differentiation. And so below 7.0 is called a temblor, which is just like a tremor. And above a 7 is called an earthquake or terremoto. And so you're, you'll feel tremors a lot. Um, some missionaries have like superpowers to feel them all the time and they'll feel probably one a week or, you know, a couple a month. Um, but in April of this year, there was, we started to feel um, really big tremors, and I thought they were a blast. Um, Latins are really, really f afraid of earthquakes, turns out. Um, and so I would, I remember just sitting on a bed, and there was like a 6.7, so it wasn't even an, an earthquake yet, and we just felt the earth kind of go like this, and, and I was in a room with a bunch of kids. We were sitting on a bed. Um, you teach a lot of lessons on beds, turns out, and, uh, and I was sitting on there, and the kids started freaking out, and I just rose my hands up in the air and, look, no hands, and tried to get everyone to calm down. Um, but about a week later, there was an 8.7, three, I think, earthquake, and that was a little more scary. Um, it was like being in a movie, honestly, because you, you just started seeing everything shake on the walls, and and you just started seeing the walls and the ceiling shake, and I had never really experienced that before, and and I tried, I tried to calm people down by by kind of joking around with them a tiny bit, but then the lights started, you know, flickering and turning off and everybody was screaming. I was in this, um, this house for refugees, um, teaching a lesson and they just started running out with their hands in the air, praying to Jesus and, and they were screaming and crying and, and it, I, I wasn't scared, but um, when the lights started going flickering and, and it was still just shaking so much, we, we went outside and that was that was real weird because you could just see all the light posts just shaking and you could just see the earth shaking. And it lasted probably about two minutes, so it was, it was really long and just being around so many people crying. And, and then we just saw the elders. We shared a ward with the elders at the time and, and they just ran around the corner looking for us and we just headed to the mountains. And everybody, all of Chile, or all of the northern part of Chile just started heading towards the mountains and because there's a, there's a big fear of a, of a tsunami. And so we just sat out there by the mountains for a couple hours and then we ended up sleeping, all of us, in, in a church building that night. And, and after that, there were a lot of other um, big, there was other earthquakes and other other tremors. And I, I really enjoyed the experience, honestly, but most of the, the Chileans were a little freaked out. And, and But you, that's just something you come to expect. The nice thing is Chile is a rock. Um, the northern part of Chile is just, it's, it's a rock with a lot of houses on them. And so even though a lot of the houses aren't made very well, there, there wasn't really very much damage. I mean, if you think about the United States, a, a six or a seven just can flatten a city. But in Chile, you know, they get eights and they're totally fine. So there's not too much damage. It's not something to worry about. It, it's fun. <laughs>